In this week's video, my mother-in-law tells me about a late 19th century dress hidden away in the great chamber, which I think could be perfect for our new Gilded Age American heiress exhibition we're creating in the library. But you will not believe what we find. I'm actually still in shock. Okay, right. well, this is the... Wow, where does this come from? Well, it's a hinting book one, you know. It's, it's another bit of the old family stuff. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. All, if okay. I may say, it's a beautifully put in acid free yeah, paper. paper by me. Yes. Here, here is the 19th century tea gown. Take it, Julie. Okay, so this so possibly is going to go on to the mannequin that I'm... Uh, sourcing from wow this is incredible that I'm sourcing from preservation equipment um, and that will be in the exhibition that is gorgeous it's very very it's got it's getting very fragile um, here we are here, okay here we are if you drop it Julie yeah 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 um, and careful. then we can move it you see and it's like <gasps> that so it's, you would wear it like that, I see. I don't think it's a tea gown. I think it's an evening gown myself. Yeah. It's un it is. unbelievably. Yeah, it's getting a bit rotten, actually, sadly. Look, at here are the sleeves. Look at this. Look at this lace. Yeah, but it's, <coughs> it doesn't compare with, yes. If see, I put it. See it on the bed. There are better things than that. Are this, there? Oh, much, yeah. <gasps> this is the most wonderful piece of 17th century <gasps> embroidery which is a little apron. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. I'm afraid the more we get out, the more tidying up there is I know, do. I know. And then this is the skirt, just hold that. Oh my goodness. And this is uh, the top. No. <coughs> These have all been seen by Sotheby's, by the way. Have yeah. they? Oh yeah, they're in the in inventory. Right. Gorgeous. And they're all, so this, they're all exempted. Oh my gosh, they're it's be I've never seen this before. No, no, I know you haven't. I, I haven't <gasps> done them. So who do we They're, think wore that? Heaven knows. These are just... These are 18th century. Gorgeous. These are 18th century. Wow. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, that's different. That's different. These are skip stunning. Skip the moment and skip this. Okay, I'm just going to put this here. I've got to be super careful. These are absolutely stunning. You guys, these Georgian dresses have really, really inspired me. I mean, the craftsmanship, the detail, the embroidery, it's incredible. And it reminds me of those wonderful Georgian period dramas and really the sheer beauty of the outfits and dare I say the indulgence. And that's exactly what I've been doing for several months now to my face. And I'm heading back to London for the weekend. I'm going out and I am going to use the absolutely brilliant UFO 3 by Foreo Sweden, which I'm very lucky and so pleased to say are sponsoring this video. Since I started using the UFO 3, the difference in my skin has been truly, truly remarkable. And I suffer from very dry skin. But the difference in hydration of my skin is unbelievable since I started using UFO 3, which is the latest in the UFO range and is a deep facial hydration device that gives you the benefit of five anti-aging facials in just two minutes. All you need to do is choose a mask and they have plenty to choose from. Today, I'm gonna go for the H2 Overdose, which is ultra hydrating and contains hyaluronic acid and snow mushrooms. But again, like I said, there are so many masks to choose from dependent on your skin needs. And then you can choose if you want it to warm or to cool your skin. For me personally, living in this Tudor historic house, well, there's usually a bit of chill in the air, plus it's England, so it rains a lot. So I love the warming thermotherapy. However, I do use the coolness as well, especially when I need to de-puff around my eyes, and that feels so good. You can choose to follow a routine on the app, or you can access eight treatments at the push of a button. But 
you don't have to use the app. And I'm gonna use the easy mode, which is the offline mode. And I'm gonna go for the red warming because, oh, the warming hyper infusion helps the mask ingredients penetrate much deeper into the skin. And this feels so incredible. So if you would like to try the UFO3, I can tell you that it's rarely on discount, but using the link in the description box, you will get 30% off and an additional 10% discount for the first 50 that use the coupon code AmericanV10. All right, oh my goodness, this is just brilliant. Oh, my skin feels amazing. So now I'm gonna go pack up my dress for London. It might not be one of those Georgian dresses this time, but you never know in future, let's see. Look at that, beautiful. I have actually taken some of this material to the, where there's just material. Yes. I've taken it to the V&A and had it looked at and so on. Now this is the other amazing dress and she was short and dumpy. And it's 18th century. It's 18th century brocade, yeah, it's a court dress. <gasps> oh my goodness. There's, oops, careful. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I don't like that. No, we'll it's have to look it's at it. It's a seam. It's a seam. Okay, so that's fine to repair. Look at this. Should we put that on that chair behind you? Mm, uh, no? What do you think? Bed. On the right, bed. Right, okay. Right, so right. what is this? A skirt? That's the skirt. Oh my goodness. Not it's not that. Beautiful. Oh <gasps> that's just another skirt of Probably made by the Hugo. Ah, oh, there's the top. God, it's a sweat on this. Um, I'll put it all back properly. Yeah, 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 sometime. <gasps> that is the top. The top to that dress, which is very fragile and broken. Yes, yes, yes. What is this, actually? Well, my goodness, we could really have a display here. Pretty, but I don't think it's really anything much. I don't know why it's in here, actually. Well, I suspect, look, it has a little bit of sort of maybe Indian or... Is that the same stuff? Orient? Is that a handbag? What we haven't yet got is the top. Could be an Alberta oh, handbag. Go. My God. I oh want my you to goodness, it's like the never work, ending chest. How much work I did to get all these things, keep them all, and put them in the right place. And it, oh, now that is, you can see how well folded it is. This is the V&A with this. Oh. Because I took all this <gasps> stuff to the V&A. Well, that's just material. I know, but it's stunning. It is. It's it is. absolutely oh, yeah. stunning. So do you um, think that this material, Caroline, was used for a dress? And yes, yes, yeah. And then we... Yeah. What I've been trying to get to is this. Oh, my. Which I've now got to. Which is the, Literally the never-ending chest. That. Which is the top of that brocade dress. That is the top? Yep. Look out. Holy cow. Well, let me just move this carefully. Yeah. And then that goes sort of in there. In there. Yup. Wow. I've never, is... you, I've never had them out because they're so fragile, so difficult to... Oh, they're so beautiful. But there were some silly bows on this, which I had taken off, which I was told, no, not this, uh, right. they're stupid little bows somewhere. Right, right. And some determined they were wrong and late and things, so I had them taken off. And this uh, is stunning. Look. Well, there you are, Julie. <laughs> you know, I, thought, I thought you were going to show me one no, dress. I never was. Thousands of pounds of repairs. I mean, I wouldn't worry about these pieces of material. I don't think you can do anything no. much about them. This is not being cleaned because cleaning it would cost an absolute yeah. fortune. And it looks okay. And it's in very good shape, that. This is in much less good shape. So I have a mannequin coming for the yeah, exhibition, which I want to obviously put a 19th century dress well, on. I'd have to put that on. There is, I have got a 19th, no, it's not, it's early 19th century. This is just exquisite. All of this. Unbelievable. Well, actually, Julie, now having got all these dresses out, you've got, I think, three 18th century 
uh, uh, silk damask dresses yes. to deal with, a couple of really dilapidated dresses, a piece of 17th century very fine embroidery, which is perfect. Yes. Um, a couple of 19th century gowns, yes. for want of a better word. And everything needs mending and repairing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. I've got my work cut out for me. Holy cow. I certainly do. Right. Well, you weren't I'm quite expecting that. Were you? No, I wasn't. I was expecting one dress. <laughs> laid these out, as many of you saw, um, after Caroline and I found these, or she showed me where they were. And it's been actually, I think, really good for them because they have been in the case around, obviously, acid-free paper, which you've seen. But I can already tell by coming back in here a few days that some of the wrinkles, if you like, have come out. So I'm flipping this one over because this bit here was a bit creased. You can see that. So I'm gonna flip it over and lay it on its front and then get rid of the creases. So I'm just gonna put that out here. Hello. Hello. Wait, I'm just it's fixing me. this. Oh we, my goodness, you've heard. Do we have some light? Yeah, great. Yeah. I'm just, um, well, <clears throat> have you ever seen these before? These dresses? I bet you haven't. It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> well, you can admit I, it. We'll... Well, I, I think I've seen, I think I've seen this one before, perhaps. Right. But they're extraordinary. But I know. Uh, do nothing, you know about them? I know nothing about okay, them. Okay. So, so, so I want, I want to learn all. So about what them. I've done is, your mom, I had asked your mom if there was a dress that possibly Alberta. Um, that she had of Alberta's that she would have worn. For, for your exhibition. For my exhibition, for the American Heiress yeah. exhibition. So she said, yeah, let's go up here and look. But then lo and behold, it was like literally the never ending chest. It was crazy. All these dresses. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we, there's some. They look super fragile. They're super fragile and they're beautiful. So this dress is 19th century. And you can also tell it was probably late 19th century it's been stitched. So that kind of gives it away. And most likely this was Alberta's because it used a sewing machine. So detailed. All of the embroidery, the lace. And look at the lace. It's sh and this is the arm. This is, can you believe, I would love to just put my arm through this and wear this. I think if you put your arm through no, that. No, 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 I know. It's it not would, ever going to happen. It wouldn't but, come out again. So what, what we have here is, is this beautiful dress, yeah? Yeah. Which we have to be super careful about. Yeah, um, okay. Because you can see Already here, there are there are tears, aren't there? There are in, tears, in the, in the and, silk. and there's tears so in the of silk. Velvet on the top and silk underneath. Yeah, and lace on the sides. And this is interesting. Feel this. This weights it down. Yeah, that's got little beads in it. It's got little it? beads in it. Little little beads of metal to hold. Yeah, to hold to the hold dress the down. dress. Isn't that just exquisite? So that needs definitely restoration. So we have to be careful and conservation. No, if, if this one now, isn't. Um, embroidered. Is this an under? Would you wear this underneath, or is this no? A... So this is what your mom. I think this is one of her most. Uh, what she feels is probably one of the most beautiful. So this is an 18th century dress. We have to be super right. careful. So you would wear this, Luke, and then this. This goes over right. it. Right. Okay. Do you see? So it's it's Gosh. like that. Look at Isn't that. Isn't that? And this is all. Silk, and is it? yeah, it's all silk. And what yeah. I'm so happy is that I did take them out. And your mom said it was a really good idea. And we opened up just the cases to the radiators. Just it needs some air to breathe. Now this most definitely is Alberta's and this would be 20th century. And we know that Alberta liked to travel to the Orient. So this is definitely Alberta's, but you can see it's stained. Um, it has some tears in it. Again, how, how interesting. Well, um, it's a sort of kimono, isn't yeah. it? Is it a kimono? And it, hopefully like I can find out in her diaries if she... You can see how fragile this is as well, because it's 
it's coming apart yeah. along, along the seam. Along the seam. So hopefully through her letters, I should say, we might be able to find out that she purchased this. But so you've <laughs> got that 18th century dress over there. Yeah. You also have this to me is my favorite. So we just have to be super careful. Again, look at this 18th century dress. It is absolutely exquisite. So isn't look, at the, look at the colors, look how vibrant the colors I know. still are. So oh, that's yes. what's, ex what's wonderful is that the colors are actually still quite vibrant. But again, lots look how, of- Look how carefully they've sewn it so that along the seam, you've got a continuation mm. of, the, of the pattern. And wow. so do you see what I've done is I've, and look at these incredible sleeves. I mean, they're heavy. They're actually, they're quite heavy, but again, for the most part, yeah, there's some metal in there, isn't there? Yeah. You can you can see there's some metal it's has just and I'm so been, glad we has been woven we into it. So I might carefully just reorganize these a bit, but you can see here's the skirt, and then you. So that have, would have gone underneath. Yeah. That. Isn't it just unbelievable? And then over probably with a very tight corset. Yeah. I can imagine. Absolutely, because then you tie this up here. So wow. then what we have is we have a skirt over there, and we'll look at this first. And then the top, and again, this is 18th century as well. Beautiful silk. Does it go with the skirt on the bed over here? No, it goes with the skirt there. there. I've had to okay. find space to sort of okay. put it out. These really are extraordinary I mean, treasures, and it feels rather odd to me because I, I don't know these pieces at all well. They, they've I mean, been sitting in a chest. It makes me wonder what else is sitting in a the chest. There's um, lots more I lots need more to, to go discover. through. The question of, and we'll look at that skirt in a second, the question of display, and you've made a good point, will we be displaying these? We first have to conserve them. So I'm in talks right now with uh, the Royal School of Needlework, which is based at Hampton Court, which is really exciting. And I just want to say, first and foremost, a huge thank you to so many of you who donated to the coronation robes. So we're getting those uh, coronation robes um, restored and repaired through the Royal School of Needlework. I'll put the details down below, but we're going to be doing a collaboration with them. And we have exciting news around that. They're actually going to be coming here um, and doing a uh, one of their conservation courses. So I'm really excited. And so we're going to be talking to them about what they can do with these uh, with these extraordinary dresses. And then look back to your point, you know, possibility is a conversation you and I need to have at some point once we look at all these as a display for another exhibition Ooh. at Mapperton. Well, I'm just incredibly happy that you've unboxed them, at least for now, and that even if we can't display all of them, we can at least share them in this way. And, um, and obviously there's going to be a lot more to come with all of the conservation work. Yet another extraordinary area that Julie is uncovering here at Mapperton. I know, I'm, I'm interested in book binding. I'm interested in conserving. <laughs> Decorating, cleaning, <laughs> polishing, cleaning. But all, aren't all these, these things. What I'm doing right now, everybody, is just, I've let them sort of be flat as much as possible over the past few days. And now I'm just checking them and I'm gonna move them a bit, but I can already see, again, sort of them coming to life again, which is really exciting to, just by having them sort of stretched out. But again, Luke, do you see how this skirt goes with that? I do, um, I do. Right, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm slightly scared to breathe in here, or at least uh, risk stepping on anything. Yeah. So, um, so I Yeah, shall, this is uh, very off limits, I shall this let room you right now. Um, but isn't it exciting? <laughs> it is so exciting, it's brilliant. I mean, it's ju just imagine if we could have these all on display, everybody. Um, I think that would just be absolutely wonderful. I'm at a loss of words. I'm literally obsessed with these Georgian dresses and the couple that I'm certain are Albertas. So the question now, I mean, I've really spent the past couple of days in there looking at them, but they are looking much better just being in air. And I've already seen them after the past couple of days kind of de-wrinkle. I still have a lot more thought around what needs to happen to them. Of course, some conservation and restoration needs to happen, but right now I need to get, this is my big project um, because so many of you have kindly, kindly donated through Buy Me A Coffee to get these 
uh, coronation robes, the Earl of Sandwich coronation robes restored. And I'm so excited to share with you all that these are being shipped off to, by yours truly, I'm taking them there, to Hampton Court where the Royal School of Needlework is based and they will be conserving and restoring the coronation robe and the waistcoat and all these little bits here. So I now need to pack them up. And I just, we have a lot of these metal cases just scattered around the, well, around the cellar and in the muniment room, some letters are stored in there. Um, you're probably wondering why it doesn't say Earl's Sandwich. This one says Lindsay Pito, and that was my father-in-law's um, mother's side. So this is where the Scottish side of us come from, which is the Lindsay side. Um, it's ready, it's prepped with the acid-free paper, but now I need to wrap these robes in acid-free paper and then gently put them in the case. This is gonna take a while, everybody. <laughs> 